Joining me live is Brianna Casey, the CEO of Food Bank Australia. Brianna, always great to see you. Thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. So many Australians are under financial pressure. What are people doing to get by? Whatever they can is the short answer. I think with the release of this month's inflation figures and a really alarming signal that we may see further interest rate rises rather than cuts between now and Christmas, a lot of households are really questioning what they can do to further tighten a budget that's already incredibly tight. And what we are seeing right across Australia is households in financial hardship who are either dramatically reducing or altogether cutting out fresh fruit and vegetables and protein from their diet. And it means that we have got skyrocketing demand in food relief organisations for those essential, healthy, nutritious products. And it's not getting any better by the sounds of it either, is it? It's not. The, the picture is a really troubling one and it's why we are working so hard at Food Bank to try through any means we can to grow the volume of, of food and groceries, but particularly fresh produce that we have access to. And unfortunately right now, Australia's tax system doesn't help us do that. We have been calling for a number of years for a tax incentive for our hardworking farmers, our food and grocery manufacturers, our small business transporters who want to do the right thing and donate surplus product to Food Bank. But right now, there's a cost to them to do that. There's no tax incentive to be able to facilitate more donation, more transportation of these essential products. We're delighted that uh, Western Australian Senator Dean Smith will be tabling legislation in the Senate this week that would see us incentivise the transportation and donation, particularly of fresh produce. We know through the modelling that we've done, through the great support of End Food Waste Australia and KPMG, that this could unlock an additional 100 million meals a year. It is, I know we're all talking about tax reform uh, coming into end of financial year. This is tax reform that's good for people and good for planet. And we've spoken before about people that perhaps are on two incomes in one household and they're still struggling. We are seeing the rise and rise of working households needing food relief. It's not hard to understand why those of us who are trying to stretch, whether it be mortgage repayments, rental repayments, cost of food and groceries, rising costs of energy, when we look at the rate of increase of all of those expenses, unfortunately, incomes just aren't keeping up. And what we're seeing is not only two income households who are needing food relief, but two plus. So we're actually seeing people who might be working full time during during the day, they're coming home, they're bathing their children, they're tucking them into bed, and then they're going out and working an additional four, five, six hours in the evening, often in the gig economy, to keep up with those expenses. It's just not sustainable. And with the bill, you're encouraging everyone to make a submission to add to the support of change? We understand that when the bill is tabled on Wednesday, uh, there will be great support for this legislation, which we hope will be referred to committee. That will trigger an inquiry process and we would welcome input from everyone, from farmers and growers to manufacturers to transporters, to make sure this legislation reflects all the needs that are out there in our community and really does create that game-changing legislative environment that we need to see. I can't see any reason why any political party wouldn't back this in hard because it's going to be a cost of living measure that makes tangible change. It's going to help us reduce Australia's $36.6 billion food waste problem and it's going to mean more food, more healthy, nutritious food on the tables of vulnerable Australians. It's a win-win for everyone. We look forward to hearing how the Senate goes and we always are grateful for your time today. Brianna Casey, thank you. Thank you, Janie.